I'm gonna give you a pop brownie right at nine. No, that's not we that's not gonna happen. I also, by the way, have a written statement from my mother because every year she's embarrassed by my behavior. Yeah, I know. May I read it? Sure. Dear Mr. Cooper, the Vanderbilts, the Roosevelts, and the entire team at CNN. I am quite thrilled that my daughter, Kathleen Mary, was asked to join Mr. Anderson Cooper, Taylor Swift, and Miley Cyrus for the celebration. Uh, they're not going to be on. All right. I am also happy that Santa Claus remains now and forever white. Oh, God. <laughs> she watches Fox a lot. I don't... I, I've already begun toasting to your success by enjoying the finest of box wines. That's true. Please know I will never forgive myself if my daughter Kathleen shames the Griffin name yet again. The only promise I make is that I will certainly not be sober during your broadcast. Love, Maggie. <laughs> There's your beloved Maggie that you think is so charming. I think she is charming. I think she's lovely, and uh, I, I find it hard to believe that, that you come from her. Well, guess what? What? She's here right now. No, really? Mom. Are you serious? Mom. Oh, Mom. Yeah, look over there. Hey, Maggie, how's it going? Hi, Anderson. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Are you going to watch us on New Year's Eve? Oh, definitely, Anderson. Certainly I'm going to watch you. Yeah. What are you looking forward to with Anderson on New Year's Eve? Tell him he's right there. We, uh, there are some things that Kathleen Mary is not going to do. Oh, really? I uh, will do or will not do. What's she not going to do? Because like there's what? Well, she's certainly going. She's going to be a pillar of elegance, that's for sure. <laughs> and there will be no uh, transactions. Transactions. Shenanigans. No, no shenanigans. shenanigans. Okay, good. Yeah. But I'm curious about the transactions. What? What is that? What transaction? Well, as a mother, I can promise you. That she'll be fully dressed at all times, thank God. And she will also not take the Lord's name in vain. Good, well that's or good. Or attempt to disrobe him, attempt to disrobe Mr. Anderson, Mr. Cooper. You don't have to call him Mr. Anderson, right, well, I okay? I mean, now, that's all you need. Give my is she reading like from that. the yes, CNN anyway. contract that you were forced to sign? I hope so. Yes. Is. And we had to put it in really big font, and she's doing the best. She doesn't normally read contracts. Let me just show Kathy a yeah. little bit of what I am concerned about, as always, given your past behavior. Let's just show the clip from some of our years past. I am here with, of course, Kathy Griffin. I'm here with not Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> Let's throw stuff at the Jonas Brothers. No. <laughs> You're fraud. I can't, you, I don't even think you can't do Jonas that. Brothers. You just threw something at the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, I almost wore this. I, I was this close to wearing this. Is this is not awkward at all. No, this is not awkward great. at all. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, professional. Take your hands off me. Honestly. Kathy was saying it's like the prom she never had. I texted Kathy just saying to her, Happy Thanksgiving. It's a really sweet text. And you know what she texted back? Are you drunk? There's so many unmentionable things that we can't show, and I and I just choose I to, to forget. I think I had better moments, and I think you know exactly what I'm referring to. Where the heck, heck was my near nudity? Where was the F word? Which I still don't think I said. And I'm sure there's some sort of makeout session you left out. And where's the part? Remember that year you took off all your clothes except when you wore an athletic cup? <laughs> no. But seriously, I, I really, I, I mean, I know that's your shtick and that's what you do. But I am really hoping this year, just like, you know, just just keep it clean. Just, I mean, you don't have to, just do your thing, but don't, don't, be, don't be tawdry. You know what I mean? I got a lot of tweets from people saying you went too far. By the way, I didn't know it was the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> I, I, I'll try not to be t tawdry um, at the speakeasy, you know, with prohibition and all. Are you to the Oprah circle yet, or you can't get the Oprah? No, she, she still does <laughs> not care. She's not a, she'll, she'll say she's not a fan. No, huh? She's not a fan, no, not having it. No, because what you it. do is, first of all, what she does is ten times worse than what you do. Think about it. The woman built her career. Yeah. Even though she said she wasn't going to get down in the mud. Yeah. She used to do everything but the paternity test. She had all kinds of people, never paid them, disadvantaged people. It, at a time when Phil Donahue was sitting down one-on-one -on -one with senators, she right. came along yeah. and, and right. did her thing. That's right. That's so, right. I mean, I'm for, on her game. I'm for her, her to game. act all high and fucking mighty I know. is ridiculous. I know. I mean, it, but you know, I have a theory about why she doesn't like us. Why? Because we see through her. 
Of course. That's we it. Know who it's she so is. simple. We see through her. That's it. Of course. And by the way, I get her gig. I right. get it. I get what she's going for. What, being a deity? Yeah. Sure. I, yeah, I get it. Right. Yeah. Wants to be God. All right, look. You've said it all. You've really opened up. I hope up. I haven't left out a single thing. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the celebrity that you're friendly with that people would never, ever know that you're friendly with? I have a few, like, secret... Uh, you know, I'm like the embarrassing friend of a few celebrities. Like, who's most embarrassed by well, you? Well, you know, what's odd is, like, I'm friends with Rachel Ray, who has a very squeaky clean image. Uh, Rachel Ray's been over my home. She loves you. Yeah, she's she a big loves fan. You. Yeah. She's a big fan, and every time I go to her apartment, she cooks for me, which is very sweet. Mm -hmm. Who else is, like, a, somebody I'm friends with that you, you wouldn't know? Like, a weird... Like, a lot, it's odd. A lot of people, I'm like, they're naughty, dirty secret. Right. Yeah, I mean, Anderson Cooper until we started New Year's. Right. But, like, two nights ago, I had dinner with uh, Gloria Vanderbilt, Marlo Thomas, and Gloria Steinem. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. my crowd now. That's my crowd now. Have you seen Anderson Cooper's penis? I have not. I've God knows I've tried. I've really done have everything. Have you ever given, it, given it a, a grope, a squeeze? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Was it thick and big and girthy? Of course, It yes. was. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, obviously around me it wasn't direct. Right. And you're saying but you I felt, could tell. You felt yeah. a big package. Yeah. How did you come to grab his penis? I just grab it almost every time I see him. Wow. He, in fact, he doesn't even have it like a reflex anymore. He just kind of knows it's going to come at some point, and he just deals with it. Wow. Like when I sexed him. Honestly, sometimes he'll say, like last week I sexted him, and he wrote, you have smooth skin. And sometimes he just doesn't respond at all. How do you how do you grab a man's penis through his pants like and how does that move? Continue? Because I've worked my way up right. to a point where I I kind of almost can't shock him anymore. Do I mean, you do I have that to really go to yeah. Who? Plenty Who men. Whose penis have you felt? Oh, I'll feel pretty much anybody's penis. Have I mean, you ever felt anyone's penis and was hardly anything there? I mean, if a guy's flaccid, if yeah. you just go up to a guy, I mean, I'm not like actually committing felonies going up to random strangers. You go up to Don Rickles and grab his penis? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and neither would you. All right. No, no, I've never done that. Well, anyway, why did Anderson Cooper take so long to come out of the closet, do you think? Because he travels to places in the world and covers those stories where, you know, I have to tell my New York friends, it's not all Chelsea, baby. That's right. I travel this country in this world, and it's not all Chelsea, and it's not all you know, West Hollywood, and he goes to places in the world where they will kill you for being gay. You're it's, it's, that, right. it's that simple. You want to know something? That's an excellent explanation. But all those years when people would ask me over and over and over, I would think, what do you think? Right. The guy's going to Jalalabad. You think there's a pride for, for flag in Jalalabad? You know? He's not welcome there? I'm just saying, maybe it's, it's, they treat you a little differently in other places. You ever try gay sex? Never. Never? Never. Well, that's pretty weird. I, I know. I thought you might have. I know. You'd like think I would. Some guy hurt you, and you just said, "You know, fuck it." Oh, man. guys have hurt me. That's I just haven't really gone to the girl side yet. If right. I if I do, it'll be Susie Orman. Have you ever slept with a gay man? Yes, you many have. times. No kidding. Yeah. Was he able to get erect? Yes. I, I don't know how they do it. I've often wondered. He said to you, I'm a gay man. No, they always say they're bisexual. Right. And then a year later, I meet their freaking husband. Right. This is my husband, Jared. Oh, hi. How you are you? You slept with a guy who said he was bisexual. Yeah. And he was gay, of course. Right, of course. And he... I always say, give, give it a week. Right. And he got hard and he entered you. Had vaginal sex. Wow. Seemed to somewhat enjoy himself. It would come to completion. Wow. And yet, a year later, I always meet his husband. Wow. Well, then why would you not say he's bi? He obviously can go Because they, when they're with me, they're bi, and then every time, next time I see him, they're with a dude, and they say, that's it, I'm here, I'm queer, deal with it. And I'm like, I did deal with was it. Was this a gay famous man, or just a, a... No gay famous man, but the guy that I went to, like the Sadie Hawkins dance with, Right. that guy now is a choreographer at Disney World. Wow. Yeah. I don't mean a stereotype, I'm just telling you that's his actual job. Oh, my God. It'd be great if you had Anderson Cooper's baby. That would I would be so love good. it. That'd be so good. I, I the offer is open. All right, look, we've learned a lot today. Yeah. Probably too much. Yeah. Kathy Griffin is here to tell you she's going to grace your stage at Hard Rock Live in Hollywood, Florida. And Clearwater, and Orlando, and Biloxi, and right. Huntsville, and, and Carnegie. That's Carnegie. right. Lots of uh, Randy can't be with you on this trip. You Not write, always. You got a job, right? Yep. All right, keep that job. Because it's going to get pathetic. Otherwise, he's going to have to live in his car and eat dog food. That's right. Or with Benji. Uh, oh, my God. Benji. Any, <laughs> any kind of tour dates and tickets, go to kathygriffin.net. That's where it all goes down. Yeah. That's the so big thing. So it's all happening. All right. Listen, thank you for coming. I by. love you. Love you, too. I won't apologize for it. Great seeing you. And I won't apologize for loving you. Ready that Jimmy...
was sitting next to you and you whispered in his ear because you were talking, someone was talking, Kim Kardashian was there and you went, she's the stupidest fucking person I ever met. Yeah. And where did you I will her? also say that to her face. I right. mean, I'm happy to say it to any of her sisters. Is she the stupidest person you ever met? She has a look of vacancy on her face <laughs> that is really unparalleled. <laughs> And I have been seated next to her, right. which was really a nightmare for her. So I always think that if I'm seated next to someone like that, there is a gay angel who's in charge of the seating chart. But do you think that, do you really think that she hates sitting next to you? Or is yes. that just your own sort of high school paranoia that you're not the I, cool it, kid at the table? Well, both. First of all, it can't be enjoyable for her. So if you're right. Kim Kardashian and you're in an event, in this case it was the Hollywood Reporter Power Women's Breakfast. Right. Now, what the hell is she doing at a Power Women's Breakfast? Right. So, but, you know, star-studded, and they have a lot of movie stars there, and, like, heads of studios and powerful women. And if you're Kim Kardashian and then I walk in, that's got to be your nightmare. But doesn't that get exhausting? Oh, like, 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 what if you sat down and Kim Kardashian was reasonable? Aren't you almost sitting down saying, I've got to find something wrong with this girl so I can pick her apart? From Not my in act. her case. In her case, it really writes itself. She was as dumb as you might think she is. Well, I will say that she knows to be a woman of a, f a few words around me. Right. I'm not saying she's a big talker with Chloe and Courtney. I don't know. But um, she is actually quite sweet and friendly. And so when you meet her, it's not like she's a mean person, but you kind of can't believe the stuff that comes out of her mouth. And for example, um, what she said to me was, um, I have to go do a photo shoot. They're making me do a photo shoot. <laughs> And when people say things like that to me, I think about well, growing up in Forest Park, Illinois, and think, I just, I don't know who they are. Yeah, who's they? Is it like an Abu Ghraib prison situation? You're being forced to do a photo shoot? And, I want to know the names. And aren't you the girl who got famous from a sex tape and, and oh, doing a Howard. video, Didn't we uh, do doing it all a reality wrong? show? We did it all wrong. Well, if I could go back, I swear to God. But don't you feel like, in a way, isn't the world have some sort of karmic justice because... Now you're in the driver's seat. You can take a girl, the pretty Compared girl to Kim like Kardashian? Kim Kardashian. Yeah, well, just think about the power now that you have. Yeah. Because you're the person now who can sit there like the yeah. like the like the king and go, <laughs> Look, you better behave around me or I'm gonna fuck your life up. Well, I'm, I will say I do get i I mean you get this all the time, but I do occasionally get the celebrity that I do feel does either the preemptive strike and I got that first from Alec Baldwin. What did who I never met, right? And he came up to me, and he's very sexy, and as you know, very volatile and fascinating and interesting. But he came up to me, and he pulled me very close, and he said in my ear, "I think you are so funny and so sexy." <laughs> and I was like, I, "I get it. I know where this is going. That's the preemptive strike." But what if and Alec then there's the John Mayer, right? So I saw John Mayer last night at the Rickles roast, right? Which was really a toast, which is really a lifetime achievement. Where you made a very funny tape, by the way. Oh, did you like my tape? I loved your tape. Thank you. Thank and I love that you call him Mr. Rickles. Absolutely, I do. And I, I love that you say, as well as you know him, you still call him Mr. Rickles. He's Mr. Rickles to me. He Absolutely. Is. Right. Oh, so that went well, huh? It went great. So I see John Mayer, and I, maybe I'm making it up, but it did seem like he was avoiding me, as he should, because I felt like I was catching crabs just looking at him. I thought I could get <laughs> some sort of a yeah, UTI. Yeah, yeah. And then Katy Perry showed up later in shame. You know, she doesn't want to walk the red carpet with him. She right. shows up later when he's seated, et right. cetera. And then they called her out from the stage, and she had this look on her face like, oh, okay, well, now everybody knows we're together. Boy, sounds like a pretty good crowd, though. It was star Who was star. there? De Niro. Wow. Yes. Bob Newhart. It was all, you know, the Friars, of course. Joan Rivers did was hysterical. Up, did you get up and say anything? Yes. Oh, Joan and I were the only girls, of course, as usual. Right. Everywhere I go, I, you know, my good friend Joan Rivers, I would say, well, it's just us again. And uh, it was great. It was very, you know, Saget, Stamos. Did they roast Don or they no. just talked about how much tribute. they loved? A tribute. Why tribute. was it not a roast? Cause Don because Don nobody wants to really roast Don Rickles. You want to pay tribute. You want to. So what did you say about Don Rickles? I actually told a story about. So my thing must have come off like a roast. No, it was sweet. Everybody, you know, you did a tape, and, and John Stewart and Kimmel and, and Craig Ferguson and Letterman. No, people were lightly, lightly roasting, but nobody okay. was vicious. Like, right. the TV ones get vicious. <laughs> yeah. And they're very much about, like, dry vaginas and stuff. It wasn't, it wasn't that kind of a deal. It so was what more did you say? I actually...
How does she meet a regular guy, first of all? A 34-year-old regular guy. Yes. Well, first of all, I um, took myself off the road for one weekend, which killed me. Let me see this guy, first of all. Let me look him over. Howard, I swear to God, if you're not I'll nice to him, a, I'm going nice. to punch you in the cunt. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, punch my uh, 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 I'm going to give you respect. What is this gentleman's name? Uh, what is his, his name? His, his first name is Randy, and that's Randy. all I'm going to say. But he's like a marketing executive. He's like a normal... Let me let me say hello to Randy. Oy. And of course he's like a fan of yours, so Look at this guy. Nice looking guy. Randy, what do you oh do? You're a marketing executive? Randy, don't answer anything you're Hi. not comfortable answering. Yeah, Randy. How many times a week do you fuck Kathy? Uh, <laughs> many times a <laughs> day. Randy, um, <laughs> is it hard to be in a relationship with Kathy Griffin? She's very outspoken. Uh, she's. By the way, I know this game. This is the soft sell at first. What are you talking about? No, I know your no game. game. First, I... he's going to rope you into thinking you're his friend. He's not your friend. Randy. <laughs> first, all right, let me ask the question everyone wants to know. Are you a paid escort? No. Are you real? No, okay. Oh, That's... by the way, you know who else is? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. We had dinner about six months ago with Bethany Frankel. Right. And I swear to God, Bethany Frankel kept saying to me, "So, is this real? Is this is this like a real thing or what?" And I and I really wasn't How understanding insulting. her. And I've been we've been dating for a year and a half. And I said, "What do you mean?" And she goes, "No, I mean like I know you would like do this for publicity." And I said, "Date somebody for a year and a half." And How then finally I said, "I go, are you insinuating he's an actual escort?" A paid escort. That's paid right. Escort. Yeah. How a stud. No, but, but, you know... Did it, you say to her, like, your husband, ex-husband? Well, I did not <laughs> think he was a paid escort, but I didn't know right. that was, you know, the thing to do. How do you arrange all these dinners with all these celebrities and all these people? I mean, you're just so networked. It's a, it's really startling to me. What, what you, are you talking... You know, you are Bethany so full Frankel of shit. And I can't believe the nerve one. of you to sit here as I, if when you go to L.A., they don't all dive into you. That's because of Jimmy. And you go... Yeah, exactly. You I, go I to the Cuban Mafia. To put, I would not have to put that And John Hamm comes over and kisses your ass, and they all want I've to be in your John circle. I've never met Except ten times. Yeah, exactly. All right. All right, so wait a second. Let me understand something. Okay. All right. The two of you meet, right? Where? We I met, don't know. We actually met at a food festival. All right. And okay. you did you know who Kathy was? I'm assuming you knew. Yeah, I did. Of course. Like and a little, not a little bit. A little yeah. bit. And uh, listen, it, it's got to be intimidating for a guy who's just got a regular job. This woman can eviscerate you, right? She can actually sit there and make fun of you. If you if you don't fuck her the right way, I mean, it becomes comedy material. I think being with a comedian would be very very difficult to maintain a relationship. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but she's very loving. I love her yeah. very much, and she's very. But sweet. you don't know that when you're first meeting her. Well, first so of how all, do you get why the? Why do you think the... I'm eviscerating him while he's having sex with me? Because how did... who knows how you think? Everything's got to be funny. Everything's a joke. Everything's you know. You know what I mean? You're Everything... evaluating all the time right. during the sex. There's no jokes. Right. I'm committed to the act. I'm it, focused. Is Kathy the oldest woman you've ever had sex with? Yes, she is. Of course you, I am. I'm 52, for God's sake. Howard. Were you freaking out that you were with a 52-year-old? No, the age didn't come into play. I just, you know, love her personality. I love her, so it didn't matter to me. Right. And, Howard's and, but not buying he by one thing you're saying. I, I know. Wait him. a minute. Wait a minute. You did he her approach mommy? her? <laughs> <laughs> did he approach her to, to start this thing off, or did she approach him? We kind of met at the festival, just kind of crossed paths and just smiled at each other and uh, hit it off. And tell the real talking. story. You can tell them the real that's, story. That's What's what the real story? The real story is that Don Rickles said to me, because I was literally sobbing on Don and Barbara's shoulder one night, and I said, I'm never going to meet anybody again. What's the point? Nobody likes a this comedian. This was after the Old Spice guy? Yeah, after Old Spice. Right. And then, um, <laughs> and but please keep bringing that up in front of Randy. That's, that's <laughs> right. He loves it. She fucked the Old Spice guy. Yeah, I fucked the Old Spice guy, Randy. She's three times bigger than you. Whatever. Who's not as bigger, the Old Spice um, guy or Randy? Uh, Randy. Is it? Yes. How big is Randy's penis? Do you know? It's nice. How it, big is it, Randy? I mean, I don't want to say baby's arm holding an apple, but I mean, right. it's, it's... Are you over nine inches? <laughs> Well, that's that's very big. Uh, are you are no, you nine, over nine inches? Are you eight inches? I'm pretty endowed, Howard. Wow! <laughs> I can't Everybody, find... we meet. <laughs> I mean, are you Matt Lauer big nine inches? Wait, I didn't know there was a Matt Lauer well, big. What is that expression? You say that like Matt Lauer big is part of the lexicon. Oh, around here it is. Really? Yeah, Matt goes, yeah. Well, you know, Nick Cannon. I don't nine know inches. Matt actually. Chris, uh... Chris Rock is nine inches. But don't they Milton all say Burl, they're nine inches? Milton Burl. Milton Burrell, of course, well, we heard yeah, a lot about him last night. What are you, about six to seven inches, or are you bigger? Uh, we'll say that's a good range. A good range, yeah. okay. All right, that's not so bad. I'm six inches, and I, around here I'm tiny. 
I don't believe those stories. Uh, you get way too much pussy for your little stories. I'm six inches. That's it. Six inches of joy, apparently. Six You're doing just fine. Six inches is not bad. Thank no, you, Robin. of course not. <laughs> I can hear that in a phony not. phone call and various songs. <laughs> Uh, so what happened with, I said, so wait a minute, what's the story? All right, yeah. the story is that Don Rickles said to me, you know, honey, when you meet a guy, don't open with a joke. Whatever you do, don't open with a joke. Show your soft side. Don't be a comedian. And so I, went, right. to, I went to this food festival, and I saw Randy, and I opened with a joke, and it was very, very inappropriate. It what was too far. Say? Well, he, he, it, was, it was an L.A. Times event, and that's where he works. And so I said, um, you know, what the fuck are you doing drinking on the job? He, I had a beer. And I, I was busting his balls. And then the minute it came out of my mouth, I thought, oh, God, I forgot everything Don told me, and I should have opened with a joke. <laughs> right. And then, sure enough, he came over, and he actually did the old-fashioned, asked for my number, and said, can I take you to dinner? I gave him a wrong number. And then we talked more, and then I gave him the right number. Did you bang him the first night? I, wa I tried to. And he resisted? You resisted? Yes. What kind of man are you? Why don't you, Howard? Oh, a gentleman. A what gentleman. What did I say? I begged you to be nice. No, there's no place in here for gentlemen. Oh. So you were a gentleman. You were like, hey, we're moving a little fast here. But like, I think second date, right? Yeah. yeah. First yeah. date you made out. Yes. You feel your taste? First date? No, we... I'm, I Go ahead. Well, I grabbed your ass the first night we made out. I, made I, kissed, out. I kissed him even on the street, actually. Like, Did you I grab his cock to his pants? No. no. Second date. All right, you're a lady. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but he felt you up the first date. My ass, yeah. Your, not your boobs. Well, I think I was like, I don't know what I was wearing, but yeah. the ass was right there. And I remember he you know, taller than him, so he just grabbed it. Well, no kidding. Nice. And then the yeah. second date. You took her back to your place, or you went to her place? Hold on. I'm a closer. Right. Don't act like... What do you mean, you're a closer? I mean, I took in my place, and I fucking closed. Right. All right, I'm not going to some guy's apartment. And, and you've got a nicer place than him yes, anyway, Yes, of course right? I do. Of course. And I'm ABC, always be closing. Are you guys living together now? No. Oh, wow. Well, oh, wow, what? Does that upset well, you? No. No? You got your own... Her place is... Uh, but she's got major dough, right? Yeah. yeah. You want to marry her? No, we, uh, we've talked about it. Like, uh, we're just dating, having a great time. We have a great relationship. Is it hard going out with someone who's got a lot more money than you? I don't think of it like that. When you go on a date, like, like you going out to dinner, does Kathy pay? No, I pay. You have to pay. No, I pay. But what I about pay. what about if you go on what vacation? What about vacation? Yeah, yeah. how's that all work? <laughs> vacation, I would do like the yeah. hotel because I'm Jappy. Right. And then he'll pay for the yeah, meals. Yeah, pay all the meals. You pay all the meals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do you have? Why you have so much more money than Randy? I'm just, what, what are you, are you saying, hotel? Howard? He shouldn't be a man. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Let, he can, he ain't going. You're taking him a fancy hotel. He's not, I like <laughs> that you're trying to make him an escort, even though he's not. No, now I feel like he's considering. Because it. I feel Randy's a younger guy. Listen, Robin. Randy, I feel like Howard's talking Randy no, into possibly he, charging no, me. No, I don't think that Howard no. understands that Randy wants to be. Yes. I don't care. Wait, he doesn't want to be a kept man. No, he wants to be his man. own man. Randy has his own place. I'm talking behind your back while you're here. Randy has his own place. <laughs> but think about this for a second. Randy has his own place. He's doing his own thing. He's got yeah. a job. He's not like some fucking Right. He's got expenditures, you're right. saying. Right. But at the same point, yeah. you're living a show business lifestyle. You're at a different point in your life. You're making a lot of dough. You decide to go. Uh, okay, All never right. enough. But okay. it, you, if you're making a lot of dough, yeah. you know as well as I do. It's very difficult for a guy in his 30s who's trying to build a nest egg into all that stuff. Yeah. He he can't compete with you money wise. So in that case, you turn to the guy and you say, "Look, I know you're struggling now compared to me. Mm -hmm. I want to go on a fancy vacation. I don't think it's appropriate that you pay for this because I have such an inordinate amount of money. Right. I don't think there's anything wrong with you saying around. That's what hey. I do. But then when it comes to a meal, he picks up the tab. Also, I'm a simple gal. You don't know this about me. I'm a food truck gal. I'm a let's go out for tacos. I'm a let's go out for a burger gal. Oh, yeah? So every night is Rachel not Ray a five-star Rachel... restaurant. No, I'm a Rachel right. Ray, $40 a day girl. Well, Randy was telling me that when he dated Joy Behar, she you paid for everything. So what? Everything. Randy did not date Joy Behar. Do you have to give her uh, expensive gifts, uh, Kathy? <laughs> I treat her well. I, I, I buy things for her, I make things for her, I make dinner, um, oh, take yeah. her out when I can. Yeah, that's um, enough. Yeah. I'm not a, like a gift. I'm not like an Hermes She's bag very girl. Easy going. I'm not very that type going. of. How she look naked? Beautiful. Good, huh? Yeah. She keep the lights on when she fucks? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah. She Absolutely. Likes to show. Yeah. I look right in his eyes. Amazing. Anything wild she's doing? Because she's, you know. It's she's all a, wild. It's, is it? It's, it's incredible, yeah. Oh. <laughs> she have a role play? <laughs> oh. 
Do like you mostly, role play? Like mostly it's, role play. I think that's hot. What yes, are, what is you're always play? someone else. What's well, the scenario? Well, the great thing is with the age difference, sometimes we can do like older woman, younger man, and then right. sometimes we'll flip it, and he'll be like naughty daddy. But often, I'm many professions. I've been naughty nurse. I've been naughty teacher. Do you dress up in an outfit? Yeah, I dress up in outfits. Oh, I think that's fantastic. And the great thing is that these are outfits that I have usually for like comedic photo shoots I've done. <laughs> but then I'm like, hey, if nobody's going to take this home, I, I'll take it off. And so I have like really cheesy horror outfits at home. <laughs> that I've worn for comedic photos, and then in real life, I fuck Randy in them. I think that's fantastic. Why not? And I think it's exciting. Why not? Does that turn you on to be in these different outfits? And yeah, what are some of the outfits I have? I don't know. You have some, you know, great panties, like purple thongs and... Camouflage. Camouflage. Yeah. And some I support the troops. Yeah. <laughs> great. Yeah. And, and, and so, so uh, when it comes down to it, yeah. the sex life is healthy. Yes. And are there things to talk about? Because it's yes, I think I think because as my friend Cher said. By the way, Cher gave me a piece of advice that I think is interesting. Right. Cher said that no matter how old I get, my boyfriend can never be older than thirty-five. Is that oh. right? Yeah. So Randy's so I'm got, out in January, basically. Right. Yeah, Randy's <laughs> got a year left on the shelf life. But she said um, that I should be dating guys Randy's age because if I dated a guy my age, she said to quote her, they weren't raised that way, and so she feels that. A younger man is less likely to have the sexist gene, and I find that to be true. Well, you know, and then, and what about your family? Are they freaking out that you're dating a much older woman? Yeah. They are. Yeah. They are. They've, met, they've met her several times, and it's... What do they think? She's just an obnoxious loudmouth? Yeah. They do. Kind of. Oh, uh, does that hurt? But they're nice. No, no, they're very sweet. But they're, like, very normal. And, How do you, you know, know they don't and like you? And they're trying to pull no, them like away me. from you? Yeah, but they don't think you're good for Randy. Well, they probably would like to see Randy with, like, a California blonde girl from the hills or something. You right. know, Whitney Port or Lauren Conrad or something. So who told you? Did your mom sit you down and say, look, you know, we think that you should really date someone more your own age and that we'd like to... No. So how do you... They get were just happy that I was happy. They, but, but why do you think your parents don't like Kathy? They don't. They love her. But why do you think they don't want you with it? <laughs> they didn't want to meet me for like six months. Really? Yeah, I, I, was, think they I was scared. Face. I was scared to introduce her. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's What are you out. scared about? Because he knew well, I would say tapping. something obnoxious <laughs> and I can't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> are you And I, I also have a, a little, it's a joke, but it's a dark joke, which is that if Randy pisses me off, I'm going to fuck his dad. Okay. That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Is there That's a how you get a guy. That's how you get a guy. Is they there hate a pact that. between the two of you that, Kathy, you will not talk about him in the act and you will not? No, of course not. There's no pact. It's wide no. open. Yes. Wow. Do you have that with Beth? You talk about Beth. I talk about Beth, sure. Yeah, you re but you know, you reference. I reference Randy to a point. I'm not right. going to humiliate him, but I mean, I acknowledge the age difference, that sort of thing. I wonder where this whole thing's going to go. Like how it's know. all going to end up. Who cares? You're just having fun. What is yeah. it? I do have a, I do have a question. Kathy has a very large personality. We yeah. agree, right? So when you guys walk into a room, and take the personality and the celebrity, it's all about her, correct? Absolutely. Right. How do you deal with that? I just uh, try to smile at her, make her feel calm, and that calms me. But do, do you ever go, like, people like start talking to her and give you the back, like they don't know who you are, and they sort oh. of treat you like shit? They don't treat me like shit, but the, she's clearly the star. When you guys go to these dinner parties... But now parties, when we're alone, though. I, when, when, when we're alone, Randy's the star. That's the secret. When well, we're alone, Ran it's all about Randy. When we're in public, it's all about me. Randy, when you go to these <laughs> dinner parties and stuff with all these celebrities and stuff, they generally d just kind of ignore you, right? And and don't talk to you. No, I mean, they'll talk yeah, to me. They will. Yeah, like last night at the Rickles uh, uh, toast, it was we were having a great conversation with uh, Tony Danza and... Stamos, Stamos was there and, Saget and Saget and, and, and they Ross. included you in the conversation. Yeah, I mean, they were giving him nice. shit. Don't get yeah. me wrong. They what were... did Jeffrey Ross say? I know Jeffrey Ross must have busted your balls. Oh yeah. yeah what course. did he say to you? Did anything biting? Well, like who's this guy? Your nephew or something like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I mean, we've been to restaurants and they've said, "Miss Griffin, a table for you and your nephew." And I say, "Yes, something quiet will be nice." <laughs> right. You go right with it. Right. It's like I'm his teen mom. <laughs> like if I were, I would, I'd be like, "Excuse me, son, would you go get us some drinks?" <laughs> I'm going to talk to your... Or I'm the valet <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, right. Yeah, go park my car. But wow. what's nice is Randy like, can actually talk that bro talk. Because you know, you know my whole world is gay guys and chicks. I know. So it is a joy for me to be with Randy out in the real world with like heterosexuals. And he can talk. He's all about the rape ball and the basket rape. He loves those. Let me, let me get He back. loves the athletes, and he's met many athletes through me. And he can talk their stupid heterosexual lingo that I have no interest in. Do you want to have kids someday? No. My brother has three kids. Right. So he, I'm, he, he, you're he, off he, the, uh, yeah. well, so this okay. might work out. We'll see. I don't see.